Can you tell the difference between the invasive multiflora rose and the beneficial native roses? When doing habitat projects or invasive species control work, this is an important distinction to be able to make. And hopefully by the end of this video, you will be able to make it. I'm going to give three ways to tell multiflora rose from the native roses at a distance, and one that requires you to get close, but is a surefire way to know if the rose you are looking at is good or bad. Let's kick it off with flower color. Most of the time, multiflora rose will have white flowers that have bright yellow centers. The native rose species, in contrast, will have deep pink flowers. There is a bit of overlap at times, and multiflora rose can have pink tinted petals, and native roses can have lighter pink petals. But for the most part, if a rose has white flowers, it's multiflora, and if it has a definite pink flower, it is a native rose. If you love the native roses, please be sure to pollinate that like button. Sticking with the flowers, next up is the arrangement of the flowers on the plant. Multiflora rose flowers appear in clusters of several flowers on each stem and is where its species name comes from. It has many flowers, multiflora. The native roses tend to produce single flowers per flowering stem and the flowers are more spaced out on the plant. The flower arrangement can help you decide what type of rose you are looking at if the flower color was not definitive and you don't want to or can't get to the plant. There are several species of native roses and I am planning on doing a video devoted to them. The native roses make great additions to the home landscape or to larger wildlife plantings. If you think the idea of doing a video devoted to the native roses is a good idea, please let me know down in the comments. A third way you can tell multiflora rose from the native roses is by its growth form. Multiflora rose has long arching canes that do not branch much, if at all. Sometimes multiflora rose will climb up a tree or shrub if it can, but it will still have the same long unbranched stems. Native roses tend to have a more branched, shrubby appearance, although there is quite a bit of variability between the several native rose species. Once you get a good picture of what multiflora rose canes look like, they are very easy to pick out even when driving down the highway at 70 miles per hour. The last way to tell multiflora rose from the native roses requires you to get close enough to the plant to examine the leaves, but it is very accurate. This method requires you to look at the stipule, a growth at the base of the leaf stem. The multiflora rose has a fringed stipule. I have heard it described as looking like a centipede, which it kind of does. An easy way to remember the fringed stipule of multiflora rose is the simple saying, Multiflora rose has hairy armpits, since the stipule grows in the armpit created by the leaf stem and the main stalk of the plant. The native roses all have smooth stipules, although the exact shape of the stipule varies between the species, and they are often used as a characteristic to differentiate between the species. When it comes to identifying plants, small details make a huge difference. Multiflora rose has been a problem in North America for decades. To find out how it got here, why it spreads so fast, and what impacts it has on our native ecosystems, check out this video, and be sure to get out and explore nature in your backyard.